Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everyone. So, this is episode five, I believe. Um, it is now the 27th of February. I am exactly four weeks into prep, um, and I am away in Somerset for a couple of days. So, I thought I would kind of take you through my day but also how we kind of keep the same routine when we are away and not in our usual scenario first of all it is 22 9 and i need to have my first meal at nine o'clock i have the podcast with leah so we have a podcast called anything goes um if you aren't already you best be watching it or listening to it because it's available on youtube and Spotify. I'm gonna make my food. Um, it's slightly changed, I think, from the last video. I don't think I did a full day of eating though in the last video anyway. So my food has lowered and my cardio is at 40 minutes per day now. So starting to work a little bit harder, but need more, need to push a bit more. Um, I feel very like stagnant at the moment um, and I kind of just wanna make that progress. So. Um, I'm hoping Tom pushes me a little bit harder. And I've had a few stresses on. I've had a few things going on in the last couple of days where it's not been ideal. It's really not been ideal. Um, but we keep going. We keep going. So yeah, I'm going to make my first meal. So Reese actually has this garlic oil, which is like one cow spray. And usually I use this one. But this has a lot better flavour. And I think, where did you get this from? Amazon. Yeah. So I think I'm going to use this today. For my first meal, two eggs and 100 millilitres of egg whites. So I'm going to fry that into one massive egg. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. Um, So with my first meal, I have half an onion and one and and a half, one small little baby mushroom and a handful of spinach. podcast is filmed it is now like half 10 because we just we always speak before and then like after the podcast like what went well what we want to do how everything's actually going like things that maybe we don't want to say on the podcast um so yeah videoed that um now to be honest like, i take mondays off um, from work it's one of the only days i actually do take off from work um so i do try and not do much do try and not do too much work but um there are a few things that i've got to do behind the scenes new things are coming to sfp my posing business um, i'm really excited to kind of just like launch it um but it's going to take a couple of months to do but i've got a few kind of tasks that i need to do for it ready for the launch um and everything like that so i'm going to do some like laptop kind of work i think we're going to train at subs gym which will be good so i'm going to go on another walk as well but that's literally all I'm going to get up to up, up until we train. Okay, so it's midday and I've just done some work, set some new posing clients up with their Google Sheets and just did some admin work and stuff like that for a couple of hours upstairs with Reese. And now I am going to quickly get ready for the gym. And to be honest with you, like, this is something that I think people question on if you are going to be sweating and training why do you straighten your hair or put makeup on for the gym to be honest with you i think for me it's more so like i like i go to the gym every day and sometimes don't get me wrong i won't get ready for the gym but i like feeling 
I'm looking good. Even when I do train, like I like feeling confident and I feel my most confident when I do straighten my hair or curl it or at least not after wash day because after wash day it goes like really like puffy um, and frizzy. So I do like to kind of get ready and stuff and it is personal preference and I'm not really a sweaty person so my makeup does tend to stay on. I like to get ready, I like to straighten my hair, do a bit of makeup and it is so personal preference. Like some people are like, oh my god, you wear makeup whilst training. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> when I feel good, I feel like I have a good day. Um, and I obviously want the best setup for my training essentially. So I find that when I look good, I'm more confident, therefore probably more confident with my with my lifts, but then also just more confident within myself, within the session. Gonna do my intra. So at the moment, I'm having the very licious Essential Max EAAs, which is my favorite flavor out of them all, to be fair. Oh, I don't know where the scoop is, but I've got, then I also have creatine. No, you're not, you're not having any of this. And I'll have, boom. That is my intro. These are my ears. No, they're mine. Oh, I'm going to say, I think it's going to be shy. I like it. Oh. Really? I don't like the, the, the other one, the, the other strawberry one. I like this one, though. I think it tastes quite nice. Shot, it's really nice. The old cat in it. I think we look lovely outside, aren't we? Ideally, I'd like 10 cotton ones, but finding them is really difficult. Um, I like it. I like it. I love pots and stuff like that. Her house at Peatley is lovely. You found, you and Joey found out. Like, Bye, like that. What's up? Oh, <laughs> I was getting the picture. Can you go duck down? Maybe the best pump free. We are here at Stuck's Gym, so super, super excited. I don't currently have um, a shape cut, so we're just going to dry scoop it.
So Reese got a new flavoured way, so I'm gonna give it a good go in this post workout list. Yes. I don't know why I did that. It is eight o'clock and we are in the middle of choosing a film because we're watching a film all together. Me, Reese, his mum and his mum's partner because um, we are chilling here um, in the evening. I thought it'd be nice to kind of have a family thing. I'm in the middle of cooking my food um, which is going to be rice chicken <laughs> which is your basic bodybuilder kind of food but um, I've got two more meals left. Now, as you guys know, evenings I do try and relax because I'm so, <laughs> so busy during the day even though it was my day off. It's been a tough day. Um, I think I'm coming on my period so I'm very emotional. Kind of had like a really kind of just like low day um, with self-confidence and just like how I'm feeling overall. Um, and I've got to check in with Tom tomorrow which is just not ideal because I know that my weight is going to go up because I'm on period, I feel bloated, my lower back is in bits, I just feel like my uterus is about to split even though I'm not on my period yet but I can feel it coming because um, I'm due on as well. So yeah, very emotional today, um, feeling very 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 fatigued like doing stairs every single day for 40 minutes and then training like lower three times a week well not directly three times a week but i'm still training it three times a week i have like two three exercises in my pool session um that's legs they are feeling very heavy very fatigued like they can't recover like i feel like if i don't actually think about standing and keep my knee straight i can just cock over that they feel that kind of fatigued um so we're just basically going to see if you know i need to deload um probably if we do decide to deload tomorrow um after the biofeedback that i provide tom um it'll probably be two days deloading so completely off training and then to D volume sessions um, just to kind of just catch up with fatigue prior to actually going deep 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 um, into kind of my prep um, which will is probably good timing um, because usually I'm due a deload like every 10 to 12 weeks um, so hopefully I won't need another one because otherwise I'll be a couple of weeks out um, or a few weeks out um, so yeah this will probably be the last deload if I do have one um, prior to the show so we need to just catch up on fatigue and make sure I'm not dying uh, like a few weeks into prep um, so yeah fatigue is definitely being managed quite well so we're just trying to just trying to catch it because I'm I recently I've been quite shit at managing my fatigue and kind of just going yeah yeah I, I ache but I should be aching um, but yeah that's kind of it like it's been a bit of a meh kind of day and um, one of those days but again pms symptoms are an absolute bitch i mean you girls know <laughs> so what does that mean did we put this our play or? well we are going to have to upgrade you for first Final meal. We watched Meet the Fockers and now we're watching what is it called again? Peaky Blinders. So I'm gonna make my final meal, which is Greek yogurt with some frozen fruit and chocolate and whey. So really nice. Dark chocolate. Not just like Oreos or anything. Oh yeah, Reese Oreos, Cadbury caramel. If it fits your macros. So you're having your calendar all the time in December. Pardon? So you're having your advent calendar every day in December. We didn't have an advent calendar. We just had chocolate on a tree in December. So you fuck that up. Okay, so we've got some Lidl's own zero fat Greek yogurt. And I'm going to have 250 grams worth of this. I'm gonna have my cereal milk whey. 
15 grams of whey. So those are my protein sources. 20 grams of granola on a training day, which is lovely. I love a bit of granola. And then 50 grams of blueberries. And then two grams, well, two grams, two blocks of dark chocolate. Not, not focused. Show, show them your abs, go on. Go on. Oh, you're so lucky it's no, wet. Okay, so it's been a long day. That is it for today, guys. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, four weeks into prep exactly today, which is super exciting. Um, and curious to see what happens in tomorrow's check-in, which is exciting. So if you haven't already, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.